I just want to go over a couple points here on the cowl intake and why we designed it. And I'm going to show you with this really dirty engine bay. Um, I'd run a snorkel for a number of years. And uh, the biggest reason when I, I switched over um, and decided to design the cowl intake was um, I needed that space for a battery because I was running dual batteries. And then I've also got, as you can see here, a, a mini York along with factory air conditioning. So space was is a premium. Um, a couple reasons it's, it's set up this way besides the fact that it uh, alleviates the air box. Um, people have designed or, or made their own cowl intakes um, and a lot of them there will be a hose or a flange at the firewall. Um, we did this a little different and there's a few reasons why. Um, first of all, the, the heat shield allows us to run a larger filter. Um, without that in the flange, a lot of times we'll run an inline filter which just isn't large enough. This filter uh, is designed to flow enough for a small block V8, so plenty enough for a four liter. Um, by doing it this way, it turns the entire cowl into the air box, basically. But the biggest reason for the heat shield, um, it allows the filter to sit out just a little bit, again, keeping it um, enough airflow around it in the cowl. But also, if for some reason you were able to get enough water into the cowl, uh, bear in mind, you'd be up to about here and the drain was clogged or something like that, instead of it flowing into that tube and down into the, the filter canister like some do, it would actually flow out. The heat shield also works, you can see there in, in another video. Um, it'll actually allow water to flow out. So hopefully that answers a few questions and, and why it's set up this way and um, some of the other benefits of it. You can always email or uh, direct message with any questions. Thanks.